for those who don't know me, my name is Lifesaver, and typically I do Twitch live streaming. Uh, saved offline content for YouTube is not really my forte, but hang in here with me. It might get better. Um, maybe, potentially. I don't know. We'll see. Anywho, um, the, uh, the thing that I want to focus on today is uh, one of a handful of videos that I'm doing focused on a few of the keyer but more difficult, potentially, things to do inside StreamerBot. Not everything is as streamlined as it could be. Um, in the case of credits, it's due to the fact of, to allow for customization. Um, we could not offer the type of, ooh, wow, and full creativity one might be able to do with their credits um, using just mere drop downs, bullet ticks, and checkboxes. Um, just couldn't be done. So uh, in this particular uh, scenario, you will have to take a look at a few lines of code and make a few edits. But don't worry, with my help, it shouldn't be too hard. I mean, hopefully the worst thing about this will be my jokes. Uh, the uh, thing to keep in mind here, though, is to, ha to make any future work in this type of uh, uh, situations more bearable. The right editor is the key thing uh, here for you, I believe. Uh, for me, I use something called VS Code. Uh, it is a basically a programmer's quick coding toolbox. But for us, it's nothing more than a text editor that presents to us code in a way that is visually more appealing and easier to find what we're after. Uh, and here's an example. Uh, VS Code, pop it up right here. Uh, with the examples of these color highlight uh, extension that I have installed, when we get to the actual um, editing of the uh, browser file here in a moment, you'll see the benefits that it really has. So just keep that in mind. Let's start off with um, the examples. There are three examples. I'm going to link one down below in this video. Uh, and that's the one that we're going to be going over here. And that's the scrolling example. It's one of the more common ones. You're guaranteed to get everything. Uh, and this is the one that I suggest everyone start with uh, if you're new to this type of thing. Uh, so you want to grab that example and you want to save it somewhere on your hard drive. Uh, me, I have it here inside my Stream Media Browser's demo. It's this credits HTML file. Um, the uh, First thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and add your browser source to OBS. So add source browser. We're going to say this is going to be demo creds right here and add that in. Uh, we're going to make that full screen for me, 1920 by 1080, not 1090. I said 1080. <laughs> they never listen to me. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, um, we're going to come over here, uh, shut down source one, and then, of course, these two very important ticks. Oh, yes, and, of course, tell it which file we want to load in. Uh, like I said, for me, it's over here in the stream media, browsers, demo, and there it is. Um, you say OK, and for me, I already have some credits rolling. That's what we're after. You won't see uh, those credits. Uh, you won't because you won't have any data right away from this file. Um, what you will need to do, though, is at this point in time, you want to take a look at your streamer bot, okay? And keep in mind that you want to go to two areas right off the bat. One is go to servers and clients, and make sure your WebSocket server is on auto start, and go ahead and start the actual server itself. The information that the browser needs to show the credits is delivered via WebSocket server. Um, this is all done on your local computer here um, and won't uh, cause any issues. So second thing you want to do is you want to go to settings and you want to go to events. And then you want to click on, oh, I'm sorry, over here, credits, my apologies, and tick pretty much everything you want to take here. If it comes to groups, if you have a custom groups, I have one called Badass Bishes that uh, I will, you know, use for demonstrations on various videos uh, or uh, streams online. And then, you know, 
track the top tier. So these are all your options. And you have a option of how long you want to reset for it to auto reset and clear the credits so that when you go to stream for the next stream, you don't have yesterday's credits as part of this stream. Um, and you can also manually set it whenever you would like. Uh, so you, once you have that set up and once you have the bot set up uh, with the servers, then you're pretty much good to go. The um, next thing that you want to do for the credits here is you want to go and find that file, as I said, and open it in your text editor. For me, I'm going to open it with code. And here you can see the power of code makes everything just a little more, VS Code makes it a little more uh, appealing. And this color highlighter extension that you can get um, makes the changing of colors to be pretty easy. So now you can change the colors that you want for these credits and not have them be the default colors, which are pink and blue. Because, aww. But, uh, yeah. So, for example, if we find some colors over here. Um, right here. Here's hot pink is one of the colors. Um, very easy to find. And you can change the color simply by hovering over them. Uh, light blue is the other one. Again, you can change that color uh, very easily with inside this uh, application. So, uh, Last thing you want to take a look at while you're in here is if you don't have, if you've never used these credits yet and, uh, and you haven't streamed, then you're not going to have any data. Okay. So you're not going to be able to turn it on and see what you want to see. Right here at the bottom of, of these examples, you're going to see set request to either get credits or test credits for testing. So if you just, oh, that's the reason why you already see it. My apologies. We're already set for test credits. Okay. Good deal. So um, because it's already set to test credits, that's why we're seeing data right now. Um, we'll go ahead and just turn that source right back on. And you'll see there's the credits start following. These are just random uh, people grabbed from uh, my data file. Again, if you don't have any data there at all, if you've never streamed before, I'm not quite sure how this is going to work out. But uh, let's come over here and turn this back off. Let's go to these colors that we were talking about here and say hot pink. No, 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 no. So we're going to do this. And then over here, this light blue, we're going to do like a really bright green. Okay. And then we just save that and turn these credits right back on. Um, you, same thing for font. Your font will be lo listed in here. You can change the font to what you want. This is just a pretty straightforward uh, scrolling credits example. Um, not much to it than that. Uh, if we come over here to the demo creds and we hold the alt key down and we bring this in over here. So, uh, make it a little bit wider. And then over here, a little bit wider. Like that, or a little bit narrower like that, and then do this. Well, there we go. There's ourselves some nice big credits right there, scrolling through our screen. Um, pretty straightforward. But remember, once you want to start using your own real data, you do want to go back into this file, come to the very end where it says test credits. Let's go ahead and turn this off. And because I have some real information. Uh, for my streams, you'll see some real credits. I'm going to change this to where are we at? Where is it at? Where, here we are, desk credits. We're going to change that to get credits. And then we're going to save. And now you see when I turn it on, you'll see some whole different data because it will be actual data for my streams. I do believe. Yeah, there we go. Um, there's Waldo and friends. Hey, Zypher, Woody, Extra Sprinkles, my sister. Extra Sprinkles is my sister. Um, there she is again. Some Nordy, some VIPs listed there. Some badass bitches, uh, some viewers. Um, rolling through here. Uh, some all-time top crazy people with bits. Those with the most channel points to spend. Just really creative. Um, and there we go again with the new followers being listed. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much quick. In a nutshell, how you can get through with this. If you have any questions. Uh, feel free to DM me. 
Uh, this will probably be uh, redone or something along those lines. This is more just quick for now. So thank you.